Hello, hello. So let's get warmed up. First of all, we're just going to dive straight in for our Pilates session today. Come and have a stand. Make sure you have plenty of space around you. Let's come in for our standing posture. Bringing the feet close together. Turn them out at about 10 to 2 on the clock. And align your heels directly underneath your second toe. So your feet should just be about hip width apart. Spread your weight nicely through your feet. All five toes and the heels. Think of your big toe and little toe, both taking the equal amount of weight. So lifting up of your arches if you need to. All right, shift your weight around your feet. Till you hit that point where you feel that your weight's completely evenly distributed. Throughout your entire foot. All right, knees next, soften at the knees. Pelvis grounded. So you're imagining there's a zip really connecting your back passage right through to your front. Pulling up of your pelvic floor, 30% of your effort. Tightening in those lower tummy muscles as if you're squeezing into a tighter pair of jeans. Ribs heavy on top. Shoulder blades set back. And neck up nice and tall. First of all, inhale. On your exhale, I'm going to get you to bend your knees ever so slightly. Let the arms come down heavy beside you. Inhale to come up onto the tiptoes. Exhale to grow tall and return the heels. Inhale. Bend the knees, exhale, tippy toes, go tall, inhale, exhale, lower down, a few more, bend the knees, up on the tippy toes, grow tall through sitting in the knees, lower in the heels, back down, off we go, keeping the shoulder blades up on tippy toes, set back as we go, keeping that connection of the lower tummy muscles, the upper tummy muscles to keep us grounded and steady as we go, knees bend, Tiptoes, straighten knees, lower back down. Find something that you can concentrate on. It's tough on the balance, this one. Tiptoes, back down, last few, bend knees. Tiptoes, tall, lower back down, knees bend. Tiptoes, up tall, lower back down. Wider stance this time, feet still turned out at 10 to 2. Squatting down, bring the arms out in front and up tall, bring the arms all the way up overhead, back center, and up, just about shoulder height here, that's when we pause, lift the arms up overhead, they pause again at the shoulders, and we stand back up, up overhead, in front, stand back up, really good, squatting down just as low as you can, squeeze those shoulders back, the hands hover in front, and we stand up tall, down as low as you can, Last few, keep it going. Arms come up. Thinking about your posture and your breathing. That's good, breathe in. Exhale to lift. Inhale. Exhale to stand. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. And standing tall. Go with your left foot out in front first and connect your right foot at the back so that you're in tight rope stand, tandem stand. Shift your weight forward onto your front knee, back onto the backwards knee. Really good. Shifting weight back and forward. A little bit of a balance competition here. Arms come out to the side. And we're going to start to make few circles backwards just about the size of a beach ball as we transfer the weight backwards and forwards change direction with your arm circles relax the arms back down and change over feet this time we're popping the right foot out in front connect your big toe your left foot at the back with the heel Start transferring weight back and forward. I'm just gonna move back ever so slightly. Transferring weight back and forward onto the front knee and the back knee. And we're gonna mimic walking here. So the arms at full range of movement, one up and up overhead flexion, the opposite back and full extension. So really get the arm right the way out behind you. The top arms are right the way up in front. And as we shift the weight forward and back, 
we're going to swap these arms over. Go slow here so that you can explore your full shoulder movements. So like I say, Pilates is not always about getting out of breath or getting sweaty. It's about maintaining the range of movement you have in every single one of your joints. And the slower you move, the more information your body can feed your brain and the more your brain can encourage each of your joints to move that little bit farther into its full range of movement if it is stiff. Last one, arms come center, bringing those feet about hip width apart. We're gonna take our weight into the right leg, toe pointed on the opposite side, feet are nicely in line, lifting your left leg up and down into hip abduction, keeping the knee straight and toe pointed on this side, knees slightly bent on this right leg, keeping the shoulders back and down, necks nice and tall, maintaining that connection between the ribs and the pelvis, feeling it all in the glutes here on the left hand side and you'll feel a little bit of a fatigue in the muscles of your right foot as well as they clench on to the ground for balance. That's why I'm in my bare feet today. I just felt like working my feet muscles a little bit as well. Safely in my garden too. I was out doing a little bit of barefoot walking just on the grass as well. So it's lovely to train the feet. But please be safe if you're doing anything in your bare feet. You're not going to step on anything sore. Swap over onto this left leg. Bend the knee here. Knee straight and toe pointed on that right hand side. Get your balance hands on the hips and off we go. Just lifting the leg as high as you can possibly lift it. Like I said, it's definitely not a competition. It's not an ego competition because the last thing we'd want would be the leg to lift and your body to lose control here at your powerhouse. So it's about keeping the concentration here on your core muscles. The shoulder blades set down and back to have that little bit of scapulothoracic control. All the work coming from the hips. Going nice and slow to feed the brain and the body as much information as possible. Last few. Inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale, exhale, back center. Hands come down by your side. On your inhale, gonna get you to roll the left shoulder. We bend at the knees, side flex, bring the hands over, swarm up the spine, inhale. Exhale, back center, roll the right shoulder, bend at the knees, side bend. Reaching up and over as far as you can go, inhale. Exhale, back center, roll with the left, knees bend and side bend. Reaching over, inhale. Exhale, roll that right shoulder. Bend the knees and slide the hand down to side bend. The arm comes up and over, inhale. Exhale. And last time on this left hand side, side bend up and over. Keep those tummy muscles tight, inhale. Exhale, grow tall. Last roll of the right, bend knees and side bend. Inhale. And exhale. Back center. Okay, gonna come onto our mat. We're gonna come down onto the floor soon enough. So get yourself in your nice posture. Gonna go in for our spinal roll downs. Distribute the weight quite evenly throughout your feet. Tighten in the lower tummy muscles. Zip up from front to back, squeezing in at the pelvic floor. Maintain a little bit of space in between your chin and your chest. So as if you're holding a little lemon or a large orange here. And we're tipping the crown of the head forward first. So inhale. On your exhale, crown of the head tips forward. You're gonna let those shoulder blades start to separate, soften through the knees, and we're gently making our way down towards the ground for a full back body stretch. When you've got down as far as you can go, just be down there for a minute. Feel the stretch down the back body. Inhale and in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Five more seconds. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Inhale. And on this exhalation, ground down through the feet. Squeeze your bum muscles. Soften those knees. We're rounding up through the pelvis first. Then we're starting to stack the spine back up. One bit at a time. The last thing to come back up nice and tall. 
is the head and we'll go again inhale exhale crown of the head tilts forward arms coming out heavy nice in front of you your gaze is going in between your knees as you're gently starting to lower yourself down towards the floor see how far down you can get and when you get there just be breathe deep inhale and exhale you can shift your weight from left to right as i'm doing at the minute dragging the hands with you either side of your mat off to the left and off to the right come back center for a big breath in and on this breath out again ground down through the feet let's start to stack ourselves back up one bit at a time squeezing that bum rounding through the pelvis first stacking up like a string of beads one bit at a time until your head's the last thing to come up inhale exhale last time crown of the head tilts forward soften those knees let's gently start making our way down but going nice and slow feel each of your 24 vertebrae your backbones relaxing off as you start to stack yourself forward and come right the way down big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth soften your knees slightly walk your hands forward so that you're in a nice downward dog position now when you're here you're trying to make sure that your heels are pressed back on the floor it's also about making sure that your head is nicely in between your shoulders and you're really pushing back through the shoulder blades to flatten out your thoracic spine here as well spread your fingers nice and wide and let's start to pump those feet so we're going to lift the right heel first bending at the knee and swapping over lifting the heels up and down right and then left stretching off these calf muscles good inhale on your exhale through here i'm going to get you to pick your right knee up as if you wanted to bring it up to touch the right elbow straighten it out behind and then bring it back down pumping at the feet again we're going to do the same with the left inhale on the exhale flatten that right heel down pick the left knee up try to see can you lunge forward to touch the left knee off the elbow and then lift and extend and straighten the knee out behind you Let's do one more each side pump the feet up and down flattening through your thoracic spine by squeezing those shoulder blades together inhale on your exhale bend that right knee bring it up to touch the right elbow and then straightening the leg out behind you knee straight toe pointed return that leg a few pumps of the heels shifting the weight right and left last time straighten out at that right ankle bring the left knee up to touch left elbow and then straighten the leg up behind you and return the leg come down onto your knees and let's come into our all fours position so want your hands about shoulder width apart fingers spread nicely making sure you're putting an even amount of weight down through all fingers same as we would do with the toes and if you're quite sore on the wrists here definitely roll your mat up or get a cushion or a pillow in underneath your wrists because training wrist strength and endurance does take time as well of course have a look down at your knees make sure they're just about hip width apart as well and let's go in for our spine stretch on your inhale your exhale we're going to round up through the spine squeeze the bum squeeze the tummy lift up away from the mat and your chin comes down towards your chest inhale exhale cat stretch maximum arch of the back pushing your bum away the head is looking up squeezing the shoulder blades back inhale to round through and exhale to arch inhale go tall 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 tucking in the bum tucking in the tummy chin to chest inhale exhale huge big arch of the back sticking your bum out looking up in front of you squeeze the shoulder blades back and then come into your neutral we're gonna go in for bird dog so first of all this right hand we're gonna pick up to lift 
and at the same time we're going to straighten out that left leg, knee straight and toe pointed and the two will come down and then we'll add in some curls as well. Whenever we're ready, inhale and on the exhale let's go with that right hand first and then left leg. Make sure you pull up at the tummy, keep the headlights of your pelvis shining down on the mat. Exhale to lower, inhale, exhale this time left hand and right leg. Exhale to lower and let's go, right hand and left hand. Inhale to return, exhale to lift. Keep it tight at the tummy and the glutes the whole time. Swapping over, make sure, I'm always working so hard to make sure that my pelvis isn't rotating. Should I keep the tummy tucked up and the two headlights shining down? Last time with the left hand before we add in our curls. And back down center. This time we're gonna lift with the right hand and the left leg. We're gonna curl the heel towards the bum. Also try to curl the hand towards the shoulder. So bicep curl and hamstring curl for five, four, Good, nice swift. Three, two, and one. Out straight, and return. Inhale, on your exhale, left hand, right leg. Just get comfortable in your bird dog first, and then we curl for five. Heel and hand, three, two, one. Lower back down, one more on each side, inhale. Your exhale, right hand and left leg coming up into bird dog first, you're leading with the heel, for our curls, good, four, three, two, one, rest down, inhale, exhale, left hand, right leg, get your posture nice first, and then we curl, leading with the, the fist and the heel, three, two, and one, beautiful, push your heels, and your bum together, bringing the bum right the way back down onto the heels. Try to really squeeze your bum here so you can round yourself up into a nice child's pose. So you're getting that maximal stretch of the lumbar spine. So it's a huge big squeeze of the bum and the tummy here. Almost as if you really wanted to curl your tummy up and off your thighs as you come. You might get it, you might not, but it intensifies the stretch nicely. For me, I find forehead to the mat if you can manage. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Okay, next we're going to come over onto our right hand side. Coming in for our side series. So there's a couple of ways you can do this depending on difficulty level. You can do our usual lying down. You can have yourself propped up on your elbow. Or you can have yourself prop right up on your hand if you prefer today as well. Um, so for this one, if you're propping yourself up on your hand, you need to come up onto your knees like so. You'll come down onto your hand, so your hand's facing away from your body, your fingers are pointing away. And we're going to be in this type of position. If you're propped up on your elbow, you'll be able to come right the way down. And you'll still be lying on your side while we do this. So... Um, yeah, either go for this option, we're gonna be going in for our side kicks. This option, or if you want a wee bit more of a challenge, you can prop yourself up onto your hand like so. You're floating the leg up, knee straight and toe pointed. Relatively in line with the body, we're leading with the heels so the, the toes are pointed up. We kick forward for two, and then we kick back for two. Already off a goal, go for 10 of these. So this is quite hard to balance when you're up here, you'll find that bottom leg's having to do quite a lot. Kick back for two, swing forward, kick forward for two. Good, back for two, forward for two. Back for two, forward for two, but most definitely get in a comfortable position. Even if it means going down onto your forearm and lying on your side. So by keeping the tummy tight, kind of feel it working the bum, kick back for two, good, knee shift forward for two, last one back for two, forward for two, centre and come back down. 
absolutely class. We'll do the same on the opposite side. So like I say, you can be down like so, leg up, and you're kicking. Just makes it that wee bit easier if you're wanting to be down here. Otherwise, you're starting from that central position, up in the knees. You come down so that the hands facing away from the body. And propping yourself up onto your side like so. So you're making sure your hands nicely underneath your shoulder here as you can see to keep the shoulders from scooching up towards the neck like so. Okay, whenever we're ready, same on this side. Floating the top leg up, knee straight. Pull the toes up towards you and you float forward. Kick for two, back as far as you can go. Tight to the tummy, kick for two. Off we go. Forward, kick, float back, kick for two. Forward, kick, kick, float back, kick, kick, float forward, kick, kick, float back, kick, kick, forward. Keep it going. Breathing deep throughout, keeping those shoulder blades set back. The tummy's really turned on. Like I say you're massively going to feel this in your bum muscles. Kick forward, float back. Last few, kick, kick, float forward, pull the toe up, kick, kick, float back, kick, kick, last one forward, kick, kick, come center, and rest, really, really good, we're going to come back onto the other side again, so I'm back onto my right hand side, we're going to do our little side plank with oblique twists, so if you're wanting it easy, you're just going elbow bent, directly underneath the shoulder joint, you're pushing up, we're going to be in our side plank, and doing our oblique twists. You're bringing the arm up overhead and then you're threading the arm in underneath your right armpit there to come up, up and down. If you want that more difficult, straighten it at the knees and we're coming up into full side plank whenever you are ready. Stack your elbow directly underneath your shoulder, inhale. On your exhale, push up into a nice tall side plank. Sorry guys, make sure you can see me okay. Side plank, up nice and tall. And off we go. We thread the hand right in underneath. Inhale to come back tall. Thread in underneath. And coming back up tall, that's two. Underneath. Three. Four. And underneath. Five, we'll go for eight in total. Six. Getting that nice bit of twist, really pulling your body up and away from the mat. Grow tall, inhale, exhale to lower back down. Brilliant, we're gonna stay on this side for a little bit of adductor work and then we'll swap over onto the other side to do the opposite side as well. So for this one, you can have your head resting on a little head cushion here or you can have your arm Propping your head up like so, but just make sure you're right the way down. So your top leg, so I'm lying on my right hand side, this is my left leg coming up and over the top like so. It's bent at about a right angle. My bottom leg's straight. And knee straight and toes pointed on the bottom basically. So like I said, it probably is easier if you prop yourself up onto your elbow. If you're feeling super, super uncomfortable, go with your head cushion. Propping up on your elbow, fingers are out in front of you. And what we're doing is this is the bottom leg that's doing the work. Top leg's here for stabilization. So we're trying to lift that bottom leg, floating it a couple of inches up off the ground. You're gonna feel it working your groin muscles and the insides of your thighs. We'll go for 10 of these, inhale. And on your exhale, up and down that bottom leg. Really gonna be feeling this squeezing on the insides of the thighs. Halfway there, pulling in at the tummy. Make sure the shoulder blades are set back as well and your neck's nicely supported. Last three, two, and one. Really, really good. Straighten out both legs on top of the other. Knee straight and toe pointed. This time we're going to try to lift both legs together. So again, make sure you're nicely propped up, elbows underneath the shoulders. You can have your opposite other hand out here for support to propped up on fingertips. Pulling the tummy up and away from the mat. Knee straight, toe pointed, inhale. Exhale, lifting both those legs together for 10. 
Good, seven more to go, really, really good. You're really gonna feel this on the side obliques as well, so you will feel a little bit on the side of your tummy. Good, last five. Remember in your breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth, last two. And one, absolutely beautiful. Come over onto your opposite side, onto that left hand side, going in for our side planks. So like I say, if you're level one, your knees are bent and you're just scooching the hip bone up and away. A little bit more of a challenge, out straight. Make sure the elbows directly underneath the shoulders, inhale, exhale, push down through the forearm, come up into a nice tall side plank. And we're gonna go in for eight of our oblique twists. Reaching the arm right the way in underneath to twist and then we come tall before we start the next one. Off we go, that's two done, six more to go. Keeping your balance is probably the most difficult bit with this. I breathe out as I go under, breathe in to come back. Last few, two more. And last one, come up tall, pull the side up and away and then lower and back down. Keep yourself propped up on your elbow. We're bringing that top leg, the right leg, up and over. And it's the bottom leg that's gonna be working on this one. All right, so knee straight and toe pointed. This top leg's there for support. Fingertips can be propped up in front of you to try to give your pelvis a little bit of stabilization. So really pull your tummy button in towards your spine here. Knee straight and toe pointed. And we're gonna be floating that bottom leg up and away from the mat for 10. Nine, good. Nearly there, remembering your breathing. This feels like a, it's like a small movement, but it feels, you can feel a couple of things contracting, a couple of muscles contracting at your, oh, never thought to work those muscles before. Three, two, and one. Brilliant, straighten out that top leg. Two legs are nice and straight. And we're going with both legs this time. So I really, really feel this in my obliques. Nine, eight, seven, keep the control of the legs. Six, knee straight, toe pointed. Five, four, three, two, and one. And lower and back down. Come on to your tummy next. We're going to do swan dive, but we're going to do it in two parts. All right, so I'll teach you part one first. So we're going to be doing, it's basically going to look like this. I'll give you, give you a wee look at, look at it first. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. Arms going to be out in cactus pose. Shoulders and elbows bent to 90 degrees. Inhale and on the exhale, we've done this one before. You're floating your forehead up off the mat, but without looking up. All right, so it's just a direct lift up and away from the mat. The arms are also going to hover up as well and we just float that breastbone up. So come up as high as we can, making sure you're keeping your hip bones pressed into the mat with that squeeze of the bum. We inhale, we lower down, that touches down and on the exhale we're floating. As you can see the legs up, the knees are straight and the toes pointed so it's not a bend of the knees, it's more of a lift of the hips which like I say you will feel in your back if you don't press those hip bones into the mat. So make sure you really squeeze your glutes and your bum muscles here. And it'll basically look like a bit of a seesaw. Upper body will be lifting. And lower down, lower body will be lifting. All right, whenever these are ready, so we're starting off with the upper body and the head first, inhale. On your exhale, float that forehead and the arms up first. And then we execute that lift of the breastbone. Inhale there, exhale lower down and that's when the legs lift up inhale exhale they lower down and the upper body lifts inhale exhale lower the head and the hands and up come the legs squeeze your bum muscles inhale exhale down go the legs up comes upper body inhale exhale lower down and up come the legs inhale exhale down go the legs up comes upper body. Squeeze your tummy and your bum muscles to allow this to happen. 
Rest if it's too sore. Lift of the legs, knees straight, toe pointed. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Up comes upper body. Squeeze the shoulders back and down. Inhale. Exhale to lower. And up come the legs. Knees straight, toes pointed. Inhale. Exhale. Lower down. And switch everything off. Inhale. On your exhale. Push yourself up into all fours. Inhale. On your exhale, left hand comes and threads through. Bring yourself right the way down. Rest that forearm down on the mat. And you're twisting yourself around. So at the minute, I've got my left hand threaded through. And I'm looking over my right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Gently get that hand back. This time I'm going with my right hand. Threading in and underneath. Resting the forearm down on the mat and I'm using the power of the forearm to twist my body around to look over the left shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back centre. Sit your bum back on to your heels. Stretch out in front. Beautiful. Okay. Turn over onto your back next. I'm gonna try to angle myself so that you guys can hopefully see this a little bit better. Okay, we're gonna go in for hip twists. It's gonna be a full hip twist with the knee straight and the toe pointed. So with this one, you can have your head cushion behind your head. Alrighty. Arms are down by the side. You're really making sure that you're pressing through a nice spread hand into the mat to allow you to do this. So if you have the flexibility, gonna get you to keep them, keeping the knees straight and the toes pointed. Pick up the left leg, all right? And we're just gonna draw massive circles round, keeping that right leg down. So you will allow the hip to lift off, but I don't want, so we'll come across like this. You're keeping the shoulders down, but the bum, the buttock on that side will lift off. We scoop around and then up overhead. Trying to keep that right leg down. Change direction. Just draw huge circles, making sure you're coming right the way up, around, away from the body, across, over the right hand side, and that's when this buttock will lift off, and up and over. Change direction. Coming across the body, round to the floor, and up and over. Really stabilizing down through the arms here. Change direction. And stabilizing down through that right leg as well to allow this to happen. This is too difficult. Try it with a bent leg and circles like so to try to build up the, the tolerance to this because if you're if you're stiff or weak, stiff or weak in the hip at all you might really 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 find this working in fact. Hopefully you guys can see me. All right this time we're gonna pick up the right leg keeping that left leg out long knee straight you can even pull the heel up on that bottom leg if you want. And whenever we're ready, off it goes. So I'm going to come across the left hand side of my body first. Scooping down and across. Out and away from my body over the right hand side. And then round. I'm making sure I'm keeping these shoulder blades pressed down into the mat. Change direction. And I'm making sure that left leg is being a grounding foundation for me as well. If you're getting any clicking or creaking in the hip, totally normal. I'm getting it right now as well. Change direction. So it takes a bit of abdominal strength here and definitely a lot of hip endurance. And change direction last time. Up and round. Ooh, big clunk of my hip. And resting back down. Beautiful. Push yourself up into sitting. All right, so this time we're gonna have our arms up behind us like so, so your elbows are straight and your fingers are pointing away from your body. So first of all, see if you can manage. We're gonna bend the knees up like so. Okay, and we're gonna try to draw small circles. Imagine we've got like two pencils coming up out of the knees. Drawing circles. And you're really pushing down through the hands as well. Try to keep the shoulders pulled down and away. Change directions. Shoulders pulled down and away from the ears though. 
You're keeping your feet connected and your knees connected here. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, straighten out. Corkscrew, change direction. Keep the knees bent. If this is too difficult for you, legs are heavy, change direction. Up and over. Tight at the tummy. Or like I say, you can be in a nice knee bent position here. If this is too difficult, or even if the two legs together are too difficult, you can circle with one knee at a time. Change direction last time. Inhale. Exhale. Spread your legs. Gonna come in for soft stretch next. So I want your arms spread wide. You're just lifted to You've got the hands just at about shoulder height here. Gonna inhale. On your exhale, gonna get you to rotate to the left. As far as you can go, I want you to turn that back hand up so that the palm's facing the ceiling. And then we're reaching down with the front hand to touch the outside of the ankle. Inhale. Exhale. Back up center. Inhale. Exhale, rotate first. Turn that back hand up. Reach forward with the front hand. Inhale. Exhale, come back center. Pop both hands on the mat in front of you. Inhale. And on your exhale, walk in the fingers out in front. Chin comes down to the chest. Try to keep the knees straight. Pull the toes up. Stretch off that spine. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, gently getting the hands back in. Let's do some abdominal work next, so let me reposition. Okay, we're going to try for a neck pull in prone here. Now, see, these ones might be quite difficult. This is just our rolling up and down series, basically. So do what you need to do. I'm obviously going to cue all... The ideal ways to do it. This is one that I'm still working on as well, so you'll not see my legs as steady as a rock either. So just try your best with it. You know what I mean? There's there's no point lying down to these things. None of us are perfect. We have to practice it every day. So um, I'll show you my neck pull, but this is not in any way gonna look pretty. <laughs> All right. So basically, come and do some sit-ups with me. So want your fingers interlaced behind your head like so and have your elbows nice and wide so that your elbows are coming onto the mat. We're going to inhale and on the exhale pushing down through the ribs we're going to pick ourselves up so we're sat right way up and then we come forward keep the elbows back wide and you're trying to bring your forehead your eyesight's basically looking in between those knees pulling the tummy up Squeezing those shoulders back. Inhale. Sit up tall. Squeeze back with the shoulder blades. And on your exhale, you're rounding the spine forward so that you can walk your spine down one bit at a time. With knees straight and toes pointed. The last thing to come back down is the head. Alrighty. So making sure that your head is really well supported by your hands being interlaced behind it here. And let's neck pull. Do five in total. Inhale. On the exhale, try to keep that little bit of space in between the chin. Try to keep the neck long. And using the power of the abdominal muscles to pull yourself through and forward. And as you start to come forward, when you're as far bent forward as you can, it's about keeping those elbows back. Inhale. Exhale. Sit tall, squeeze the shoulders back. Inhale. And then on the exhale, it's about curling, making yourself kind of that C shape so we can walk the spine down one bit at a time. The last thing to come back down are the elbows and the neck. Inhale. Exhale. Pick that head up. Looking down towards the feet. And then shoot right the way forward to get that maximal stretch in the back body. Squeeze those elbows back. Don't pull too much in the head. Inhale. Exhale. Sit tall. Squeeze shoulder blades back. Inhale. Exhale, curl the spine forward so you can initiate your roll down. Dropping down one bit at a time to the right way back on the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Tucking the chin forward. Getting all of the spine onto the mat. Shooting forward. 
Eyes extend in between the knees and pull those shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale. Sitting tall, squeeze the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, curling forward to start walking your spine down one bit at a time. Abs will be starting to get tired now. Inhale. Exhale, last one. Chin tucking to the chest. Trying to keep the knees straight and the toes pointed. Keep those elbows back as you reach forward with the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Sitting up tall. Gently lower yourself back down into line again for a little bit more abdominal work here. Okay, we're going for a single and double leg stretch. Lying on your back, you can have your head cushion behind your head if you like, or if not, that's all good too. Keep your left leg straight. Bend this right leg up for me. And you can float that bottom leg up off the mat ever so slightly. Beautiful. And we shall swap over, inhale. Exhale. So you're keeping that bottom leg floated up if you can. If not, you can have it bent. And swap. Inhale. And exhale. Giving your hips a nice stretch off. Keeping one leg floated up while the other one's getting pulled in towards the chest. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, sit yourself up. Get rid of the head cushion altogether. Inhale. Exhale. To swap over. Keep the shoulder blades drawn down. The neck is long. Maintaining like a little orange. And underneath your chin. Inhale. Exhale to swap. Soon we're going to go for double leg if we can manage. Inhale. Exhale to swap. Inhale. Exhale, bring both together. Inhale. Exhale, we're gonna connect the two big toes. And back in. If it's too difficult, you can be here. Tap the feet down. And back up towards the chest for a pull. Tap and down. Other ways. Inhale. Exhale. When the hands come and just float a couple of inches up off the mat. Knees straight and toes pointed. Protect that neck. Pull on in close towards you, inhale, exhale, inhale to come in, exhale to straighten. Keep the shoulder blades drawn down, tuck in towards you, rest your neck back, pop your left leg down. Up your right heel on top of the left knee. Thread your hands around the back of your left thigh. Pull all towards you. Straighten out the left knee. Pump the toes up and down on that side. As you edge the legs towards you, fill in that stretch in the right glute. And make circles with the feet. Really stretch the feet off here. Inhale. Exhale. Turn that left leg. We're going to bring the left foot up onto the right knee. Thread the hands around the back. Of the right thigh, edge all towards you for that gluteal stretch. Straighten out the knee on the right hand side. And pump the toes up and down, round and round, whatever way you want, just move. Edge the legs closer towards you to get that hamstring and gluteal stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Bend at the knee. And return all down. Okay, from here, sit yourselves up. Going to do backwards leg pull backwards bridge basically have your hands out behind you like so your elbows are straight and i want your fingers pointing towards your body so if you're wanting this done easy you can have your knees bent up like so we're going to be bridging up lifting one leg up at a time if you can't imagine if you can't manage the legs that's fine as well if you want a little bit more of a difficulty really really feel this in the hamstrings i really do feel this straighten out at the legs for me and we shall go up do six leg lifts and then lower back down okay so whenever you're ready inhale on your exhale just making sure your feet are about hip width apart push yourself up into your backwards bridge take your weight all the way down through your left heel gonna float that right leg up and down left up down right up down left up down knee straight point toe pointed right 
and lift, inhale, exhale to lower down, shoot through to touch your toes, knees straight, pull the toes up, a few more of those to do, inhale and exhale, lower back, pop the hands up behind you, squeeze those shoulders back but keep the shoulders drawn down, tummy muscles engaged, pushing down through the heels, let's go again, inhale, exhale, push up into your nice strong bridge. And then we initiate the leg lift. Push down through your left heel. With your knee straight and toe pointer, we're going to pick up that right leg. Right, up, down, left, up, down, right, up, down, left, up, down. Last two, like I said, if you're here, up, down, up, down. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Spread the legs a little bit wider this time and reach forward tucking and pulling the tummy up and away from the mat spreading those shoulder blades apart tucking the chin in towards the chest looking down in between your legs inhale exhale last set of these nasties get yourself set up first lift the breastbone up and away squeeze the shoulder blades back make sure your feet are about hip width apart inhale exhale Bid the gym bridge number one or bridge number two. This is bridge number one and bridge number two. Get yourself steady. Take your weight down through your left leg and let's start with the right leg lift. Up, down, left, up, down, right, up, down, left, up, down. Last one, right, down and left, down, lower down. Pull the knees into the chest, sit tall and breathe. Let's go in for five, rolling like a ball, setting the shoulder blades back, pulling the knees in close towards you and it's a nice controlled, hover those feet up, roll back and forward. If you can catch yourself without the feet touching the mat, amazing. Let's go for five and total, roll back, up tall, set the shoulder blades back, roll and up, catch yourself there. If you're wanting a little bit more of a challenge, you can try to straighten your legs out and take a hold of them. Roll back, forward, catch yourself sitting up. Good, let's go for two more. Roll back, forward, bit that you're in a ball or you're up in rocker. Back and forward, bringing the legs together. Holding tight, sit up nice and tall, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And on your exhale, we're just going to lower down nice and gently. One more time. Kind of in for our shoulder bridge. Arms down by your side. Feet bent up to about a 90 degree angle or just slightly more. Knees are hip width apart. Draw those shoulder blades back and down. Decrease that space between the ribs and the pelvis. Uh, zip up your zipper, so squeezing up with the pelvic floor muscles. Inhale and on your exhale we're going to push down through those feet, lifting up into a nice strong glutes bridge and we're going to do our single legged lifts here that we were doing in the bridge that we just done there now. We're going to take our weight down through our left leg, we lift with the right, knee straight into a pointer, we're going to lift up as high as we can, we hover down above the mat and then we return it, inhale, exhale, straighten out that left leg, we lift up, just as high as we can with the knee straight, hover and back, strengthen your bridge, inhale, exhale, right leg, straighten out, lift up, hover just above the ground before your turn, strengthen your bridge, inhale, exhale, left leg, lifting up as high as you can, hovering just above the mat and return, strengthen bridge, one more on each leg, inhale, Exhale, right leg straight, flex up, just hover and fix back, strengthen your bridge, really pull that pelvis towards you, inhale, exhale, straighten out at the left, flex up, down and return, grow tall through your bridge, pulse up there for 10, 9, 8, 7, really push through the bum, good, 4, 3, two and one inhale exhale curly bridge lowering down one bit at a time walking that spine down like a string of beads 
So do right the way down. Beautiful. And we'll finish off with a little bit of our scissors next. Now the way scissors is done usually is you're kind of up in that bridge position, right? You have your hands lifted under behind you and you're like, you know, right the way up here and scissoring like so. So we'll just do our scissors so we can get a little bit of, I want to try to take you guys um, to the advanced stuff, but it's so much better to teach it in person. So for now, we'll do a little bit of scissors, just set up in our abdominal prep position. If it's too much to do it with the straight legs, do it with the bent legs again, all right? So we inhale, have yourself sat up in this abdominal prep position. So the shoulders, the arms and the necks lifted right the way up. I'm gonna straighten the right leg, and that bottom leg, if you can see, is lifted up ever so slightly as well. So we're here. You take a grab of the leg. Let's keep it three little pulls towards us. The legs swap over. And we give three pulls towards us here. Now, like I say, if this is too difficult, you can be here. Give it a wee pulls, quite similar to what we've done before. Just trying to get a little bit of bicep work into it, basically. So up with the left leg, bottom leg's floating. We pull one, two, three, and swap. Pull one, two, three. Swap, one, two, three, swap, and one, two, three, swap, one, two, three, and swap. You're really making sure you're keeping the knees straight here. And just work within your limits. Really pushing on flexibility and strength here. And swap, last few, two, three, and swap, one, two, three, last one, one, two, three, inhale. Exhale, lower down that left leg, lower down that right leg, and relax yourself right the way back. Okay, bring your arms out either side of you, out nice and wide. Bring the feet and the knees together. Inhale. On your exhale, lower both legs off to the right hand side, and you're looking off to the left. Inhale. Exhale, back center. And now drop the legs together. Off to the left hand side, if you can manage looking over your right shoulder now. Feeling the stretch in the spine, inhale. Exhale, bring the legs center and send them off to the right. Now you're looking over your left shoulder. Inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. Last time, bring the legs center and lower them off to the left hand side and you're now looking over your right shoulder, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale, beautiful. Bring your legs back center, gently curl yourself up. Beautiful, right, let's do a little bit of stretching to pull down, that was absolutely great, guys. Okay, bring yourself into kneeling position. We're gonna bring out the left leg, all right. And what we shall do is we're gonna lunge down into this right leg, so you can take yourself right the way down onto your forearms here. So you can feel the stretch on the inside of the groin. Inhale. And exhale. Come center. Swap over knees. Send that right leg out. And you're just lowering down. Like they say, bitch, you're coming onto the forearms. You should be feeling the stretch on the inside of the old groin muscle. Breathe deep. Set the shoulders back. Inhale. And exhale. I'm gonna turn knees parallel, our usual little hip flexor stretch. I've got the right leg out in front of me. Nice leg out in front of me. I'm on the left knee. You can pop a cushion underneath the left knee if this is too much. Squeeze the bum and the tummy to give yourself a nice posterior pelvic tilt. Right hand comes on to that right thigh. And we are lunging forward to get a bit of a stretch into the hip flexor here. And let's lift the left arm up and over. Really squeeze your bum and your tummy here. Don't want you dumping too much into your lower back. This is all about stretching off the front of the hips. Inhale. And exhale. Easing deeper into the stretch. Inhale. And exhale. You can come off it slightly. See if you can reach back to grab that left ankle, hold on to something for support if you need. 
Guide that left heel towards your buttock on that side. Again, squeeze your bum and your tummy so that you're not feeling a strain in your lower back doing this. Inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. Beautiful. Swap over. Let's bring the left leg out in front. Bending. Hand. Left hand comes on to the thigh. And we're lunging forward. So you can feel that stretch in the right hip flexor this time. Tighten your bum and your tummy. Really squeeze your bum. Lift the right arm up overhead. Breathing deep. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Releasing all tension out of the hips. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Come off the stretch slightly. Hold on to something if you need. Reach back for that right heel. Edge it towards your bum. Keep your trunk up nice and tall. And try to squeeze your bum and your tummy. Sometimes you just might not get your balance. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Lowering that leg back down. Bring yourself onto your hands here. Bring both feet up. Your knees are bent. We're going to come for our spinal roll up. So push through, try to get your knees quite straight. Your hands are out in front of you. Inhale. On your exhale, ground down through those feet. Let's gently start to stack ourselves back up one bit at a time. Shoulders will be the second last thing to come up. Head will be the last thing to come up. Beautiful. Let's do a couple of cool down mobility exercises in standing next of all. From here, Side bend to your left and hinging, keeping your pelvis steady, roll your upper body onto the front, inhale, exhale, stack yourself back up, side bend down to the right, like I say, keep the pelvis grounded and you're rolling your ribs over on top, arms hanging heavy like a big monkey, standing up tall, inhale, exhale, side bend to the left, roll like a sink in front, inhale, Exhale, gently stack back up, inhale, exhale, side bend down to the right, roll in front, inhale, exhale, to stack back up, inhale to lift the arms, exhale, turn the palms away from each other, huge backward circles here, squeeze down through the pelvis and the ribs, squeeze those shoulder blades back, inhale, exhale, rotate the hands, Backward circle, oh, really, really get the blood to the shoulders, inhale, to lift, exhale, to backwards, lower, last one, inhale, to lift and exhale, backwards circles, inhale, up and over, go tall, exhale, back down, inhale, go tall and exhale, Inhale, grow tall, exhale, we bend in the knees. Last one, big breath in, grow tall with it, and your exhale, lower it back down. Another session done, guys, really, really good. Keep going with your practice. Like I say, visit old videos. Um, I will still continue to post up um, three per week. So please explore my channel because there'll be plenty at this stage to keep you guys moving. Uh, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.